I am voicing over on a video of our hawk walk in Ireland. The weather was so windy that the um, talking part was just not usable. So I'm going to do a voiceover on this and chat about my adventure in Ireland doing the hawk walk with David, my son. We got up early for the bus ride to the National Bird of Prey Center that David had pre-booked for us. The double-decker bus dropped us off in Blessington. I sure enjoyed the ride from Dublin to the small town. Riding in a double-decker bus is a thrill in itself, for the roads are narrow and all is shared with other buses, cars, and bicycle riders. I closed my eyes a few times. When we got to Blessington, David texts Carol that we had arrived and would start walking to the center. She told us to wait in town, for she would come and pick us up, for it was a bit of a walk. I am sure glad she did. The Bird of Prey Center, which Tom and Carol run, is just fabulous. It is so easy to get caught up in their passion and love for their birds, and you can tell the birds are fond of them, too. On entry to the center, David and I were given a guided tour and talk about all their birds that were on display and a chance to handle some of them. This is suitable for all ages. This is Tom's Red Harris Hawk, Martha, whom he's trained. And it was so cool to watch her fly to our gloves. Tom would send her out and we should fly around and go to the treetops or to a fence post. And, and then she'd come back and land on our gloves. She is an incredible, well-trained, beautiful bird. I encourage you to go to Tom's website and read some of his articles about his birds. It is very interesting and well written. The Harris Hawk is intelligent and needs mental stimulation even more so than most raptors because in the wild they live in family groups and getting constant stimulation from other group members is very important. This species is very intelligent and so easily trained in the right hands according to Tom and can be easily ruined in the wrong hands. A good Harris hawk is an absolute joy to spend time with, as David and I discovered. Because of its different and varied hunting styles, it can probably put more game in a bag than most other hawks after a morning out walking the hills. Tom was telling us that falconry dates back 5,000 years in Ireland to the fossil remains of New Grange, 5,000 years later, the National Bird of Prey Center, based at Rustboro, displays many of their bir birds of prey, including the three species released recently into Ireland's mountain ranges. See the golden eagle, the white-tailed eagle, and the red Good kite. Girl. If you watch Martha, she is looking around and um, there's some buzzards that come into the area that we're in. And you'll see her look intently up and around and Tom's pointing them out and her being territorial and stuff. Um, when she flies up into the sky, they will leave her area. She's the boss bird. She is so fun to watch. We laughed and smiled because she has quite a personality, as you can see in this coming clip. She comes in and lands on Tom's head. I thought that was pretty funny. We will see that Martha flies onto this brick um, wall and apparently that was for one of the, well, probably more than one, a few tenants throughout the centuries lived and farmed from there. And there's just some remains of it left. It was quite impressive and small. Talk about tiny house living. Why walking through this pasture here? Um, there was these bricks that um, I asked Tom 
what they were for. And he said it was an underground ice house. And it was built about 275 years ago, and it preserved ice for the first Earl of Mealtown. So that when he invited his friends and family for summer parties, he could offer his guests ice with their drinks and desserts. In 1750, this was a wow factor. What a joy to spend time with Tom and Martha. There's a funny part. She actually landed on my head, too. That was kind of silly. But, um, and then we finished up with Tom sending her out to the treetops and David taking pictures of her flying over his head. She's such a good sport. It was hard to see it come to an end. I really appreciate Carol and Tom's time spending with us on their off season. We got to do hands on with the littlest Al Gizmo. What a cutie. And at the very end, we got to meet Stanley, the great gray owl. He is so soft and sweet. He is just adorable. Thank you, Tom and Carol, for an awesome opportunity and experience. I highly recommend it to anybody who comes to Ireland.